Hi there, dear viewer who's clicking on this video. Welcome to this video. I'd like to invite you to watch further. Today, I want to talk about not letting other people tell you what to do. This is a boundary issue. This is a throat chakra issue and masterpiece. I see so many people today being bossed around, bullied, told what to do, and disrespected by their parents. That's one huge thing. Or it could be their partners. Or just anybody so this is often a woman's issue but it's of course a men's issue too people's pleasing trying to facilitate in innate like people's please even enabling this falls into the whole idea of enabling and stunting is what I call it have you ever heard of enabling stunting it's when it's very a motherly thing or a woman thing but it's also a mask it can be males or men doing it also it's when you, you, you do things excessively for people, you people's please, you do things, you, like for example, a mother just keeps doing the washing for their teenage child, then, or you keep cooking for somebody all the time, or somebody wants to meet you for lunch and you go, but you don't really want to go. You're just betraying your, your needs and you're betraying yourself. Yourself abandoning yourself. This is crucial for happiness of your own self and your life. So, you must understand your own personality and your needs and your wishes of the moment. Your true desires, what you really want to do, or to have, to be or to say. Nobody has the right to tell you what to do. You don't have the right to tell anybody what to do. We must really love and respect each other and try to accept each other 100%. Acceptance is a, is a feeling in the heart. It's not an action of being complacent outwardly in the real physical world. It's not about accepting and putting up with people's bad behavior. Let's call it negative behavior because that's the literal, actual thing that it is energetically. Negative or destructive or harmful or hurtful behavior. We shouldn't do this idealistically if we want to be a higher vibrational being of peace, love and light. But at the same time, being a, a being of peace, love and light that means also to be empowered and not to take crap, dirt, nonsense, hurtful, destructive, corrosive, acidic behaviour from other people. Part of what I've learned in my journey through life is there's two aspects to everything at least. And one of the aspects of unconditional love of others which people then confuse with being a walkover and giving them all that they want, desire or demand from you, like immature babies almost, with no, no offence, but we can all, we're all on different maturity levels and we're all learning and growing, um, is we betray ourselves with people's pleas, we sacrifice ourselves, we get then sick, tired, resentful, upset, we have baggage and it just is very bad in relationships. Self-abandonment is probably the number one most up there, number one, two, whatever, most worst or damaging things we can do in a relationship. We become miserable, sick, unhealthy, unhappy, and resentful, and all sorts of stuff. And it totally is like a big, huge cloud hanging over your head and your happiness and your joy and the relationship. Or like a huge big weight, a ball and chain, like dragging you and sucking you down under the water instead of floating in joy on the beautiful mother ocean. I can just imagine the ocean, you know, floating on a nice sunny day, the vast, beautiful, gorgeous waters of Gaia and Mother Earth herself. So that's what emotional freedom is about. Um, becoming aware, wise, mature, clued in instead of clueless. Growing up. Taking responsibility, taking accountability for your life and your actions and what you have in life. And then with this you can then change and own so much of what is there in your life. Basically almost everything. And then you can make the changes and you become empowered to face the truth head on. Change yourself and your behaviour and everything about anything about you that needs to be changed. Decisions of course especially is the number one thing really. But it all, it all decisions flow from inner work and inner change and inner growth healing letting go letting go when one door closes another door opens um you need to close one door or you, when you let go you open up a vacuum space for god or your higher self 
or source or spirit to give you what you're then ready for in the next stage of your life. You need sometimes, we, we, we need to be ready to get our next stage in life, the positive thing. Yes, we need to heal our fears, our wounds, our traumas, our childhood um, traumas and wounds and hurts and pains and aches and conditioning and programming and limited, limited thoughts, limitations, limited self-concepts about ourselves, false thoughts and beliefs about ourselves, our own self-image. And so much of this stuff that we pick up through childhood is like a magnet. If, you, if your magnet is full of like metal chips or nails, you don't have room for to attract a golden coin, like something beautiful, like let's say an amazing partner in your life, or something really, 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 really joyful and positive to makes your heart sing and burst and bulge. <sighs> I'm happy saying this though because it's so powerful. Um, I'm glad you're joining me today, and I hope you're well. And I say this with the intention to help you, of course. That's why I'm making the video. To help people, you, go on to the next ladder, the next stage, or the rung of the ladder in your life. Um, so we let go of something that's bogging us down and blocking us and getting in the way. And then there's a space and room and the magnet to attract and allow in something better and nicer and more beautiful and positive uplifting, inspiring, caring, nurturing, somebody, people, friends, partners who are kind, um, more, more acquaintances and like you reach out and make friends who love you. I'd really, 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 really recommend watching my video, I put it around here, about how to actually practice self-love. We often know, and I taught it before, I love myself. But then I realized I, I, I didn't know how to practice self-love. I didn't have to love myself truly through decision-making. Not just my own idea of myself, but through actual decision-making. And then choosing things that benefited my life and my, my happiness, my joy, my all the positive things within me that benefited me enormously. And just watch that video. It's so good. I love it. Like People said they changed their life. And they made huge shifts then, like just immediately after even watching that video. And I, I don't try and take this personally, like this is part got to do with the, me, the unique expression of own in this lifetime, of course. But it's just really divine thankfulness, like thank, I, I, I offer that up to the heavens. I've been, we're, I'm blessed, we're all blessed and I've been guided like every step of the way and I think we all are. So it's silly for me to try and take an isolated um gratitude or what's the word like um, as if it's me all me it's not at all it's mostly god or higher self higher powers higher self at work and um, the universe so um, we have the right to say no we we must practice our throat chakra expression and um, communication ability open it up and open up a heart at the same time but open it up with power and wisdom so we can we can work together with people in different areas so we can lovingly erect boundaries and create self-loving rules and choices for our life in every single way when it comes to food career finances relationships security um our children our parents our family and um, there's a lot of hocus pocus and like this dodgy and negative energy in families and we all know that it's like some people call it ancestral healing or family healing our health and um, looking after ourselves and always physically enough sleep rest so many different ways and um, following our joy creativity happiness inspiration our, our, our if you like music if you like art if you like whatever you like helping people being of service a million ways to nurture anyway I want you finally this is what I want you to get a takeaway from this video everything I've said but the main reason why I started to make this video is I don't want you to be bossed around or bullied anymore stand up for yourself and do it with love be strong and firm and you don't have to be all nice or like goody two shoes or like pussy footing around the place or, or like walking on eggshells Some, we got to be firm and serious guys be real serious and you know you're entitled to your needs and your, your rights your wishes your basic fundamental choices where you're not hurting or like beating up people you're entitled to do things that aren't destructive to your other people or yourself you're entitled to say no my mum has gotten really good at this 
I've gotten very good at this as well. And it's something we learn in our journey. So I hope my 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 throat chakra, my heart, and my all my my love and my chakras all beaming at you, positive energy and helpful um, intentions from love and kindness. And I hope this really helps you. Okay, I really, really, really do. And I really, 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 really appreciate it if, if you valued my work and my intention to share this on your social media or even to your friends, like who you might know on social media, like personally, like private messages. Okay, just think about this is just some ideas or even ask or share this with your family members so you can watch this either together or they can watch it in their own time. So in online and offline, do please share the video um, as much as your heart desires and is content and happy to, okay? Otherwise, please give us a like. Um, it helps support the video. Give us a like. Um, I'd love to hear your comments or your stories or your insights, or anything like that below, anything positive or helpful to maybe other people. Um, for anyone interested in getting one-to-one -one coaching with me, I do life coach, holistic spiritual life coaching of body, mind, and spirit. It's very good, okay? Um, I think it's very helpful to people. So I'm just offering this service. It, so many different... I work with everything almost. So have a look at my description below the links. Um, in the links below the video, should I say. And finally, for life extra enhancement, I have a herb shop. And it's called Higher Self Herbs. I love it and it really has helped me in my life enormously, herbs. So check in my, um, if you want to support me or check in my um, website, please have a look at my link below, hireselfherbs.com and check out some of the inspired products that I have in the shop. They're really nice and they're good fun. <laughs> I love them. Love you, take care and thanks for your time watching this video and sharing the good word or anything, even a nice thought. Take care. Loads of love again. I'll see you another time. So, do subscribe if you're new as well also. Okay, bye.